What is happening, everyone? It's Twos. It's your boy Dion, and I am back at you guys again with yet another anime reaction video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Restoria, Wands and Swords. Uh, this is actually gonna be the dub version. Um, I am very excited when it comes down to this anime. Uh, I've heard uh, a lot of good things so far from one of my close friends, and I am excited to jump directly into it. If you are enjoying my reactions, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and talk me down below, and let's jump directly into the video. Yo, the art style. So this is just, this is just Harry Potter or Mashal. Yo. Oh, <laughs> he tore his fucking like lip tibia. I don't know if that was right assumption of what body part he took off, but I'm just assuming it was. I don't know if it was or not. Don't don't judge me. Hmm. Mr. Edward. All right. All right, good, just do it. Oh, wait, can he not use magic? God damn. Okay. Okay. Damn, calm down. Damn. God damn, just just give him a, a paper saying I want you to get out. Like just tell him to get out already. Damn. That's the most horrible thing I've ever seen. A uh, what? Is that supposed to be like Hokage or something? Oh. Oh, shucks. He's like, I can't use magic, but I got bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got the bitches. Maybe. <laughs> not supposed to say that. Uh, okay. 
Yo, that skirt shot is crazy. The five most powerful wizards just using their magic to hold up the sky. Hmm? Remember window on top of the world? Oh no. Oh no, we're getting another freaking Oh No, we're getting another Kaiju number eight. We've been childhood friends for years. Please don't betray him. Please don't betray him, ma'am. Oh no. I'm getting flashbacks. Tower of Gods already came back. Please don't scar me again. Damn, the youngest ever? She must have been strong as dog shit. Workner? Yo, the animation is actually really damn good. <laughs> the scribble scrabbles. What's up with this damn cat? Total seventy two hundred. But that's that's a thing. Is it like a is it like a weird outlier that uh people can't use magic? Is it like uncommon? Or is it a common thing that certain people can't use magic and the people who use magic are the elite? God damn, what was that animation? <laughs> you give it a, a way to go and get his credits. That's cool as hell. A basilisk. Wait, you've already fought one. Shouldn't you have turned one in? The cat was burned to a crisp? Sorry, self. Really holding on to that, that PG-13 rating, aren't we? Damn.
Yo, this fucking elitist ideology is crazy. Ooh! Oh my god! Did he just fucking kill him? Did he just fucking kill him? Yo, dude is booking it. Ten credits? Damn, fuck the Bastio that you were looking for. Stay back or die. I mean, don't look like he's dying. Not to me. Yeah, it's not your responsibility to, to save him. He put a kick me sign on his back. Good. What? <laughs> yeah, but shameful try hard. Yo! Why is he so damn fast? Did he just block that? How do you know? That doesn't mean that he was able to find them. You just assume that. Oh my God. Yo! Who told y'all y'all could pop off like this? Ooh. Woo! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Y Yo, who gave you the right? As a dwarves. You the scribble scrabbles. What the fuck? Oh my god, that is so cool! That's so fucking cool! 
Okay, guts, pop the fuck off then. Pop the fuck off then. Bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. You a bad motherfucker. He's like, I can't do that nerd shit, but I could punch a motherfucker to death. Wait, so... Are dwarves supposed to be like the... The strength builds? Hell yeah. Fuck the four credits that you need. Wow. Wow. Wistoria. Wands and sword. So, um, wow. That was actually really, really good. Wistoria episode one. So we start off everything meeting our protagonist, Will. Um, apparently he doesn't have uh, any magic or anything like that, but he does have really good physical prowess. He has strength, uh, he has speed, he has agility, he can uh, understand and uh, memorize attack patterns to be able to fight. He So he has every battle uh, advantage. So why is he into a magic uh, school when he has such amazing physical prowess you would think that a person with that type of physical ability would be in a well he technically is in a league all his own uh because it doesn't seem like anybody else have uh physical abilities like that so does that mean wait he said that he was similar to that of a dwarves so does that mean that he has like dwarven strength and durability are the dwarves supposed to be like the people that don't have the actual physical, have the magic capabilities, but they have the physical abilities of everything? Um, he said, but he he has uh, incredible speed. He can uh, memorize attack patterns really, really well. So his combat prowess is extremely high. Um, and so he's trying to get a certain amount of credits, get 7,200, 7, 7,200 credits, basically. Or was it 7,400 credits? Whatever. Uh, he's trying to get somewhere around there that many credits, so that way he'll be able to um, level himself up, I'm guessing. His childhood friend was able to be the youngest um, top wizard ever, um, even being called the Ice Mage. Wow, the Ice Mage. <laughs> he was able, she was able to be uh, the youngest one ever. Um, he's trying to figure out a way to get points. Figured out that there was a snake monster, I'm assuming. Usually when they say like Bassless or Bass something, it's usually a snake monster um, on level six. Scion, his bully, actually ended up seeing him. I guess he's supposed to be the mouth boy of everything. He ended up seeing, overhearing that there was a basilisk or whatever uh, on level six. He ended up going and turns out he bitch made. He not like that for real. Um, but Will's physical prowess allowed him to easily be able to defeat uh, monsters. So there are monsters that are just immune and resistant to magic. 
So that begs the question, shouldn't a person like Will be that more valuable? Or is it just this specific school he wanted to go to? Is it a situation where beings of other types exist and they have their own particular school, but Will himself just specifically wants to be a part of this um, this school? Because the story itself is given like Attack on Titan vibes. Like, like there's something else out there that they're not telling that we're not getting the full story of. Uh, and I am absolutely all here for it. The animation is amazing. The story building so far is interesting. Will seems like a great uh, main character. So I'm excited to see exactly what's going to end up happening. He's the anomaly in this entire um, machine. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Uh, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It does end up helping out the channel, helps us grow to uh, more and new heights. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.